Hello. Welcome to our e-learning workshops. This is the first in a series of workshops, and uh, I hope that you will enjoy this. I realize this may be a little bit different uh, for some of you, and that's okay. We'll try to make this as interesting as possible, so if you'll stay awake and bear with me, uh, then we'll get through this, and hopefully uh, you'll, you'll learn a whole lot about our topic today and for this workshop, which is batterers and working with batterers. Now, if you have any questions for me, you're welcome to email me at any time at B, B E A, at elearningfactor.com. Again, that's B E A at elearningfactor.com. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself so um, that you'll know my background in, in this topic. I am a licensed clinical social worker and a licensed marriage and family therapist. My um, whole background is working with families and then with batterers. Uh, I've worked with big brothers and big sisters. Uh, I've done in-home therapy and in-home therapy supervision for a number of years before all that funding was cut some years ago. Um, and I've worked with military populations. Then I have 11 years of child protective service experience doing all kinds of roles in child protective services in both urban and rural settings. Uh, I've been doing uh, work with batterers or domestic violence offenders now for about 10 years, and uh, I work with them also in urban and rural settings, and believe me, they are different, uh, which is interesting. Hopefully, we can get into some of that as well. We're going to start off um, by talking a little bit about what we're going to be doing in this workshop today. Um, or it may be tonight, because the, the great advantage to this is you can watch it whenever you want to. Um, so what we're going to what we're going to start with is uh, talking about the terminology that we use. I'm going to assume that if you're taking this workshop, that you already have some basic experience and knowledge about domestic violence. And when I say domestic violence, I'm normally referring to violence between intimate partners. Although, uh, depending on what state you're in, regulations differ as to how the laws define uh, those terms. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that, and I may use some terms uh, interchangeably. We're going to talk about what is it that we know about batterers? Uh, what is the history of research on the typology of batterers? And what's the difference between men and women domestic violence offenders? Um, we're going to do an overview of what we call BIPs or BIPs, which are Batterer Intervention Programs. And that is the current language for something that used to be called uh, abuser treatment or maybe still be called abuser treatment or even anger management. Eh, my pet peeve. Um, so we're also going to be talking about BIP emphasis on accountability and responsibility. And uh, because we, we do have an accountability not just to victims to work with these offenders in order to uh, decrease the violence, but also uh, we have a responsibility to the community and to the offenders themselves. Um, one thing that I always keep in mind, I've already told you about my history, so one thing that I always keep in mind is that Anybody we work with is only part of another system, and that system is a family. Um, so these folks that we're working with who are identified as batterers or domestic violence offenders um, are also often still <coughs> in relationships with, uh, with women or other men in some cases. And uh, in almost all cases, they're also still fathers. And so we want to keep that in mind when we're working with these folks. Another very, very important thing 